Can taking a collagen supplement help you grow your best beard possible? We're going to talk about that today. I've been taking the collagen complex here from Beard Octane uh, for the past month and also along with Biotin. And we're doing this whole series on me trying beard supplements for the first time and digging and giving you a little information and then also kind of a, uh, a real live uh, feedback and hearing my thoughts uh, as I go through the process of this. So welcome, guys. My name is Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel. We try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And. And we are in month two. So we started with the um, biotin beard gummies, which was more like a multivitamin. It had some B-complex and some other stuff in it. You can go back and check that out from last month. And then this month I took the collagen complex, which is to me was newer as far as like hair growth and um, uh, maintenance for your uh, beard and i really haven't heard about that until recently over the past year or so where you associate collagen with like hair stuff before it was all like skin uh, and like anti-aging keeping your skin elastic that kind of thing so I'm, I'm not sure if it's a new thing or just been marketed different or whatever but i took the um collagen complex along with just straight biotin so not the um not the multivitamin that goes along with it. And I did look up and uh, everything I saw said it's, it's perfectly fine to mix these things together. Uh, and so, like I said, we are in month two. So we're going three months of trying some different things. This last month, I'm going to be trying the Beard Fuel. I think it's called Beard Fuel. Uh, it's, it's basically a multivitamin that's not in bio, uh, that's not in gummy format. So it's got biotin and some other um, vitamins in it. So we go back and take a look at the pictures really quickly here. So uh, the first one, this was from March the 8th. Uh, I did a big beard trim. You can tell from, from there to now, I have pretty much transitioned fully from um, a short beard uh, into a what I consider a medium beard because it kind of has its own shape to it. Totally separate mustache. If you ever wondered how to make that kind of first handlebar mustache, I did a video for you guys uh, last month. So you can go back and check that out. I'll show you the step-by-step -step process. Basically, you have to do a little bit of edging out to, to create that separation and definition on your first handlebar mustache. So that was uh, fun to do. So how have these worked for me? Um, like if someone asked me, do they work? I say yes. I don't know if you can tell a huge difference because you'd have to really go back and do a before and try growing your beard for a certain amount of time with no uh, supplements and then try it again with it and it's just kind of hard to compare because it's basically anecdotal uh, data that you're that you're gathering just kind of uh, things that you notice observations more than it is you know actual science to it so and it's totally different if you just let this continue to grow when normally you uh, you were to trim it, that kind of thing. So I, I, from what I can tell, as far as like my nail growth and uh, my head hair growth, which has been kind of kept at the same length, instead of just letting it go, I have been getting uh, regular haircuts and stuff. So I do feel like uh, my hair's growing a little bit faster uh, and my nails are growing a little bit faster. Uh, how much of a difference? I'd say like between 10 and 15%. So not huge, but I think you are going to kind of maximize your growth. I think that's what, the, for me, that's the biggest takeaway on beard supplements. It's going to um, maximize your potential, right? It's going to make sure you've got no kind of deficits. You're keeping uh, everything that's involved with the hair growth process in as uh, healthy of a state as possible. Uh, that's kind of the biggest takeaway that I get uh, for it. And then once again, your results may vary on what you notice. Uh, there's a lot of other things that go into it. But I want to talk specifically today about the collagen complex. I did a little bit of, uh, of digging and reading and trying to figure out how, what that does for your, uh, your hair growth and your beard growth and your skin underneath, all of that. So, uh, you know, in years past, I've heard about biotin as far as helping you grow your beard faster. Uh, we did a lot of uh, research on some of the multivitamin stuff last time, so you can go back and check that out. But collagen, I'd always heard for, you know, like beauty care industry, trying to keep your skin youthful looking and elastic and uh, keeping, you know, people looking younger uh, and healthier and skin, that kind of thing. So, uh, yes, that that's going to be the case as well. But also the, that skin is where the hair uh, growth process begins, where your roots of your hair are and some of that stuff. So I did a little bit of reading. Uh, kind of give you my, my takeaway and what I noticed, uh, or at least what the claims are. And some of these were scientific uh, studies that have been shown. So um, a little bit more 
uh, scientific than, than just me observing what's happening to myself. All right. Um, but it all goes back to, um, uh, your, your hair, which is made out of keratin, which is a protein and amino acids is what you have in collagen, uh, specifically proline, which is the, uh, it helps build that uh, protein keratin, which is what your hair is made out of. So that's the biggest thing there. Uh, so it can I help you with that growth process. Um, there's also some antioxidant uh, properties and characteristics in collagen. And what that can do is help you fight against free radicals. Now, free radicals are um, things like stress and lifestyle choices, smoking, poor diet, poor uh, health conditions, drinking alcohol, uh, air pollutants, some of that stuff. And that can actually harm the harm your cells uh, so down into a cellular level. Level. Um, so that you've got antioxidant uh, properties, which kind of helps fight against some of that stuff. It also said potentially it could slow graying uh, because you're fi fighting against the cell damage. And that's, uh, you know, what happens when your hair turns gray. I didn't notice that. In fact, I feel like I've got more gray, but it is a stressful time of year, the end of the year. And uh, for me at school, trying to get through exam uh, and exams and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I didn't notice that. But I think also is because I feel like my uh, my it's easier for me to tell on my hair because it's kind of staying the same where my beards, I'm letting it kind of grow without trimming as much as I normally do. Uh, but I, I feel like my hair is a little bit shinier and fluffier, maybe fuller. Even I know I don't have a, a good head of hair, especially at this point where everything's kind of uh, thinning down and that kind of stuff. I did, but it does feel and to me and look a little bit more uh, shiny and fluffy and fuller. Um, not that there's not, not full, like it's covering up, uh, my thinning areas or anything like that, but it just, it just looks healthier. I'll just say that that's, and once again, that's just anecdotal observation of me looking in a mirror every day compared to looking at it before that. So take it for what you will. So also with the collagen, it uh, helps you with the middle layer of your skin, which is called your dermis. It says collagen is what makes up 70% of that dermis, your middle layer of skin. And that's where all of the roots are for your hair. All right. So collagen contributes to the elasticity and strength of that dermis, that middle layer of skin. Uh, so if that's not in good shape as you age, uh, those kind of things, it can actually cause potentially thinning uh, hair uh, because your collagen put uh, production actually slows down. So that's why you start to see that for about anti-aging, help you look younger, uh, better looking skin, uh, those kind of things. So collagen is really important for that middle layer of skin where all the magic happens. That's where your, the roots are on your hair. All right. So that was kind of a, a two-part thing, kind of my reflections on uh, me going through this and me coming up with my thoughts and observations, and then a little bit of, uh, little bit of re research and digging on that. By the way, if you are interested in the collagen complex or any other of these supplements there from uh, Beard Octane is where I've got these from. I am an affiliate, so you can save 10% with Banjo 10. And this goes for $19.99 for a one month supply. And a serving size is three and they're pretty big. And I already take a handful of other vitamins and supplements that my doctors recommended. So I was like taking 10 pills at one time, uh, which to me was a lot. Um, you know, so it kind of depends. It's like, I wish I could just go back to, to the gummies and I have to swallow quite so many pills first thing in the morning. Uh, but they work. Uh, and I wanted to share that with you guys. Let me know. Have you tried the collagen complex? Uh, maybe you're like me and just I've only seen that for like the, the women's beauty industry and keeping your uh, keeping your youthful glow because keeping your skin elastic and healthy. But I do think there's something to this to, to maximize your potential. Keep everything involved with the production of your hair. Uh, as healthy as possible. All right, we're going to do one more month and we'll do a follow up here. Uh, and I look forward to uh, seeing you back then. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you on the next video.